Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and after a week of being sick in bed, I'm back. I literally just came up with this baby dragonfly balloon bracelet, and I wanted to get a new video out as soon as possible. So let's create this together. I've got so many tutorials on the way, including a balloon decoration surprise, balloon twisting models such as a gorgeous parrot, and a delicious balloon burger and fries. But for now, let's get our supplies. Grab a green 160 a clear 160, and a 260 scrap for the eyes. We're starting with the clear and the wings. So you want to inflate it pretty much almost all the way with just a little bit of room to work with. And there's a bunch of ways you can measure this. I like to go 16 finger lengths, make a cylinder twist like this, and then match it up. So these will be the first two wings. We'll just fold this over and make simple petals on the nozzle, I'll tie that in. You can let friction do its work by just twisting it around every which way. Without its wings, the dragonfly can be seen to have three cylinder twists, making a standard bird body. What's important is that the top cylinder twist is flush against these two at the bottom, so it looks right. Now, how do we do that? We have a stretchy portion in between the two pairs of wings. So let's display some air, and you can either eyeball measure it, or you can hold it up like this, That'll work. Once you have the first pair of wings, you're all right. And uh, you do want them even though. And you can just guess the second loop or measure it like this. We have a little bit extra left over. That's all right. We'll just twist everything together, making sure you still have that stretchy portion between the two as you get rid of what you don't need. Tie it around. And this one you do want to tie in just to make sure it's secure. So we got the nozzles there. Let's tie it. Perfect. Slightly inflate a 260 scrap and let's form two even round bubbles for the eyes. You can control the shape of the eyes by keeping them underinflated, or you might end up with pinch twists. Twist a small round bubble like that, take the nozzle, and make sure there's slack on both ends. You should be able to keep your finger in the middle there like a ring as you knot it, and then double knot it so it's secure. Now form an even bubble on the other side, about like that, and just do the same thing. Pop off this extra, take the slack, and tie it into the center, creating the second eye. Then just round them off, make sure they're the shape you want, and there they are. Now let's bring it all together with the dragonfly's body. And it begins, you'll notice there are two small pinch twists here and back here, sandwiching the bird body segments. So make a tiny bubble like that. These are stabilization pinch twists. There's one, friction will sustain the nozzle and make an even bubble, pinching that as well. So you'll have a little pair here. Now, the eyes come into play. I'll grab them over here. I'm actually just going to round the balloon over it and create that head shape. I'm gonna push some air into it, make sure it's nice and full as we twist off. And you can see how the eyes just naturally are on either side. And make sure the rest of the 160 is twisted fully into those neck pinch twists and coming out the back, like so. And onto the body segments. Those are four fingers in length, about like that. And here's where we put the other two pinch twists. So there's one, hopefully you can see in this light. It'll be fixed by next video. And uh, a second bubble just like that. And let's tie it through. So. Okay, not too difficult as we come back up with a matching cylinder twist. This will be the second cylinder twist of the body. Now we've got this. We bring out the wings and we're ready to attach them. So you remember the slack portion. We'll just place that right over here with two wings on each side. Pull apart and then just force that part of the balloon over, creating the back, we'll pinch off, make sure it's even with the rest of the body, and tie it into those back pinch twists. All right, and here's what we have left. We're gonna be doing a little spiral here, this is kind of fun. Grab from the bottom, you want a tight spiral for the back part of this dragon size box. So twist it up, looking good, and tie the rest into those back pinch twists as well. Be very careful not to pop anything, 
these 160s can be a little finicky, especially those jewel tones. Whoa, he's flying away from you. And that's all it takes for this beautiful dragonfly. Now let's add the marker art. I prefer the hashtag aesthetic of the compound eye, but you can make little pupils. But I always like to make a cute little smile. This is a baby dragonfly, of course. With the wristband attached to this super easy but super cute baby dragonfly balloon bracelet makes an ideal line work design. And I've got over 150 videos on my channel, so please don't forget to subscribe.